Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how I color with distress markers and I'm going to do it two different ways. This is watercolor paper and I stamped a unity stamp on some, uh, with stays on ink and some watercolor paper and I'm going to show you how I color with uh, distress markers direct on paper and then on this paper it's just some uh, recollections, uh, you know, standard card stock. And I'm going to show you how I color um, using a different method, which is not direct to paper. But I'm going to start with this little bunny, and I'm going to color the bunny brown. So I'm going to use the brush tip, and I just want to go around the edge. And remember, this is watercolor paper. So I'm just going to do around the edge of the bunny. And now I'm going to take my water brush and I have a dish and I'm going to squeeze some water into the dish that I'm going to use for my water brush. And I don't want a ton of water on the water brush because that's when your paper starts getting, you know, little balls or, or disintegrating is when you're using too much water. So I'm just going to brush some of it off of my hand. And then I'm going to go back over to the bunny with my water brush. And then I'm just going to move this uh, pigment around. And if you don't think you're getting the results you want, you can uh, add more water. And that's what I'm doing right now, adding more water. And then I'm going to wipe it off on my hand. And don't rub too much. You're just uh, moving the colored water around. What you're doing is you're creating a pool of water and then you're moving it around. And see in some spots I'm not even brushing, I'm like pouncing. Just to move that color around. Okay, and the bunny's done. I don't want to overwork it. Oh, I see I forgot. He's got a little foot. So I'm going to pick up some color from around the edge here and then I'm going to get his foot. All right, now I'm going to move on to the flower. And the flower I'm going to color in the picked raspberry. And again, I'm going to pick the brush tip and I'm just going to go around the edge of the flower. And now I'm going to do the same thing with I did with the, the brown. I'm going to make sure my brush is clean. I need some more water in my dish. I hope you can't see my dish. There we go. And then I'm going to wipe it off of my hand and then I'm going to go in. And now I want to do the green of the flower. So I'm going to do the same thing again. And I'm not going to do anything with this one because if I add water to that, it's just going to spread out too much because it's teeny tiny. And now I want to do this grassy area down here. So I have two different greens. I have Lucky Clover and Mowed Lawn. And I'm going to start with the lightest first. And I'm just going to make uh, like little flick marks. See, and really I'm not even <clears throat> brushing that much. I'm mostly pouncing. But the idea is just to move the globs of water to where you want them. And then for his tail, I just want, I want that to stay white, but I want to kind of give it some dimension. So I'm actually going to use this yellow and this is squeezed lemonade. And I'm just going to put just a little bit of yellow on his tail. Not too much though. And this I am not going to go in with the water brush. I'm going to leave it as is. And once this is dry, I will add the Lucky Clover. And I will add it just like I did with this. But I don't want to do it because it's wet. You know, then the water will soak up into my brush, so I'm going to let that dry. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to set that one aside. And now this is the Recollections paper one. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that one. Here's a, the dish again. And I am going to uh, take my marker and I'm going to color in the dish. And this, is, this has no water in it. But I'm just going to color in the dish here. A nice brown glob. And then I have my previous dish of water. And I'm going to take the water from that dish and I'm going to wet my brush. And then I'm going to uh, basically make like watercolor in here. So I made a nice little pool of water, brown water. And now I'm just going to paint my bunny this way. And again, you don't want to keep rubbing and brushing, just little, just little bits at a time. Because otherwise you'll make the paper pill up. And there's the bunny all painted. And now I want to make sure I'm going to brush on this dish again, but I want to make sure it's not wet. I don't want to put my my marker in a wet dish. So I'm going to do the flower and this is the picked raspberry again. And I'm just going to make a pool of marker there. And then a few drops of water. And now I'm going to paint the flower. So basically when you do it this way, what you're doing is you're making a watercolor paint. Again, I'm not rubbing hard because I don't want to pill up my paper because this is just a cardstock. This is not watercolor paper. Okay, in the green, I'm going to do the same. Mm, yeah, this is green. Mowed lawn. So I should have maybe gone with just uh, one drop of water. So I'm just going to add some more color. There we go. That's brighter now. And then I'm going to do, and I see a little bit of the green got on the flower, so I just have a, a cloth here and I'm just going to dab it. Okay, now for the grass. Remember, don't rub too hard. Whoops, threw my brush. Now I want that other green, and I don't have to let this one dry. Well, you couldn't even see me. Oh. Here, I'll do that again. But, and then I'm just moving the color around. And now for the other green, I am just going to color on my dish. And then I'm going to pick up some of the green. And I'm going to just add a little bit. And I see I forgot part of the bunny. So I still have my brown in my dish, so I'm going to go back and pick up some of that brown. And I forgot right there. There we go. And then for the tail, I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow. I'm just going to go in my dish, make a little glob of yellow, and then I'm going to pick up some of the yellow with my wet brush. And then I'm just going to go on the edge of the tail just to give it some dimension. Now let's go back to this bunny. Now I wanted to add some of that bluish green. Let's see. And that's dry. So I'm just going to flick on some of this. And here's my dish of water. I'm going to pick up some of the water. And now I'm just going to paint with that. I'm just going to get it wet and just move around the color. And then because the ears and the nose are so small, I don't really, I don't have a pink distress marker except for that bright pink. And I don't want to use that. So I do have some Stampin' Up! markers. 
And these are basically water, uh, you know, made with water too. So I'm just going to use these. But this is for the inside of the ear, and this I'm just going to color directly on the bunny. And then I want it to have a cute little pink nose too. And because these areas are so small, I'm not going to dilute them with water. And the same with this one. I just want to go in and directly color on the cardstock. And then the pink nose. But that is how I color with distress markers. And you can see a difference on both methods. I mean, same markers, but you get different results. And this one I could make it look a, a little bit better just by adding some more going around it again but I didn't want to make that long of a video but that is how I color with distress markers so thanks for watching bye